from the Steve Massingham stable at Cairns, Ryan Wiggins to Rod Gate, 1063 kilos. He found some form last start to win here over the uh, 1,250 metres on the soft track conditions. He's got a lot of weight and a bad gate to contend with today, but he's back in form. Two is members only from the Charlie Hoffman stable at Tolga. Scott Shegold to Ride Gate, 362 kilos. He loves the wet track conditions there, Sawson. He's back sharply in grade for this. Uh, been racing in good opens. He was slow to begin last start. He'll be winding up late, and he's a real knockout chance in this. Three Lacona from the Scott Cooper Stable of Cairns. Stephen Wilson to Ride Gate, 861 and a half kilos. A mare that just hasn't quite found a form this preparation. She went to Eagle Farm last start, found it a little bit hot, but uh, soft track conditions are okay. She could be an improver. Four is Spirit Meister from the Rodney Miller Stable at Cairns. Adam Sewell to Ride Gate, 160 kilos. Looks your leader. Uh, soft track conditions are okay. Heavy nine now, so that's probably got a little bit of a query, but we'll be in front. The six is Silman from the Steve Massingham stable at Cairns. Nathan Day to Rod Gate, 957 and a half kilos. She's been breaking hearts this preparation. Uh, first two runs back were luckless. Last start, she was bumped at the 600. Just didn't finish it off on the soft track conditions at Townsville, but she has won on the heavy here at Cairns. Seven is Marmars Rose from the Trevor and Peter Rose stable at Cairns. Lacey Morrison to Rod Gate, 457 kilos. Third run back for this mare. Uh, she's won on the heavy before. She could be the improver. She'll be winding up. Eight is Roth and Bell from the Rodney Muller Stable at, at Goodenvale. Graham Cleesey to Rod Gate, 257 kilos. Has had the three runs back. He's just not doing enough, so I prefer him as something easier. Nine is Courting Sarah from the Scott Cooper Stable at Cairns and Morgan Butler to Rod Gate, 656 and a half kilos. It was a good run last start. It was wide the majority, but kept trying to find a line behind indictment. Ten is Modern Legend from the Janelle Ryan Stable at Atherton. Chris Whiteley to Rod Gate, 556 and a half kilos. Second up, son of not a single doubt. He's got no real wet track form uh, to speak of, and second up stats aren't great. And the 11 to round them out is Mirror Illusion from the Trevor and Peter Rose Stable at Cairns. Masayuki Abe to Rod Gate, 756 kilos. Three-year-old filly, um, she won't mind getting a toe into the ground. She can wind up late, but she'll need some tempo on. That's a look at them from the mounting yard. Race six at Cairns. Silman is your favourite here into $3 fixed on tab. Well, she's been a little luckless this preparation. She gets a chance today. This is race six. It's a benchmark 58 over 1,400 metres. My number is 6, 2, 4 and 11. I'm with the six, Silman. I, I think she can break through, but it's D-Day for her as far as I go because she's just been very costly. She's had those three runs back. Uh, she she missed the kick and had a lot go wrong the first two. And then last start, uh, she just turned it up a little bit at Townsville after being bumped at the 600 metres, but she's better suited here. She's won on a heavy track at Cairns, and I think if she brings her A game, she can win this and win this well. I'll tell you what's over the odds, members only. And this fourth run back, um, I know he's got 62 kilos to carry, but he's a real wet tracker, and he does like Cairns. Um, this looks perfect for him, the 1,400 metres. He's back in grade, and if he can carry that weight on the wet track conditions, I think he's over the odds galore. So have an each way save for him. Uh, then I've got the four, which is Spirit Meister, who looks the leader, Spirit Meister, just has to lug 60 kilos, but should be in front. Has okay soft track form, but no real heavy track form to speak of. And the 11, which is Mirror Illusion. I just thought if they go uh, mad in front, Mirror Illusion can close off okay and uh, isn't too bad on a wet track either. 6, 2, 4, 11 are my numbers. We welcome in all our friends in Singapore for races 5 to 8 at Cairns. Hopefully the weather's a little bit better up there today than it is in Cairns. Very overcast, drizzly conditions here. But I see uh, cloudy 32 up there. It'd be nice, wouldn't it, sitting around having something lovely to drink up in Singapore with all... Uh, all the punters up there, but this is race six at Cairns. Let's have a look at this market. Silman is your favourite, 360 into 310. You've got the one. Indictment kept safe here, 340, just out to 350. Four Spirit Meisters, 370 out to six. Friendless, the 11. Uh, Mirror Illusion for the Patriot Bloodstock team is $10 into $8. You've got the seven. Marmar's Rose, eight fifty, holding steady now. Three, which is Lacona, 12 out to $15. There's the money coming for members only. Uh, $23 into 18 I think that will continue to trim up now into 17 So uh, Johnny Casey's woken from his slumber in Lennox Head to put some on. So good luck to them all. And three... Lacona now out to eighteen dollars, but uh, favourite here, of course, is Silman and uh, Nathan Day aboard today. She has been a little luckless, but 
they, they are excuses. We are finding excuses, but as I said, that each way shop members only looks attractive as well. So we've had showery conditions going through right the day at Cairns today. We had another heavy shower just after the last race, so they just seem to be coming in waves. But uh, we're on a heavy nine now. We'll get through the day okay. There's a few more showers lurking out there, but I think we'll get through uh, these last three races okay at Kenham Park, Cairns. And, of course, all roads lead to Townsville on Saturday for ladies' days. We kick off the carnival in Townsville with three big weekends of racing, of course, culminating with the Cup on uh, the 12th of August, Cup and the Cleveland Bay on the Saturday. They will be a beauty and uh, looking forward to a big carnival out of Townsville as we uh, then head further north back up to Cairns. Favourite Silman, 3.20 for race six at Cairns. Let's head upstairs to Peter Rowe to call us home for the sixth. They lock the gates behind Silman now. We'll just wait on indictment, Lacona and members only. Late to bought members only back down in grade today. Scotty Sheargold in the saddle. Indictment moves up. Members only in Lacona to complete the line. We're racing on a heavy nine here at Cairns now. Track down greater to a heavy nine before race six. Members only goes in. We'll, we'll just wait ready, on Lacona. I'll be set. Benchmark 58, running 1,400 metres. Favourites drawn out wide, Silman. Lacona moves in. And the field of 10 are locked and loaded. Ready, race six. Ready? Racing. Modern Legend a little bit tardy out the middle of the line. Spirit Master won the start from the inside. He's going to roll forward early. Pushing forward around the outside goes Lacona. Members only is nice and handy in third. Now Modern Legend after a tardy beginning gets to fourth. Marmar's Rose tucked away fifth on the inside. They were followed by Courting Sara. Indictment, one of your favourite runners, has caught three wide, so Wiggins allows it to roll forward. Then Roth and Bell. Silman is back second last, and Mirror Illusions on the back of Indictment at last of all. No speed up front, and it's Spirit Meister. Allowed to do as he likes, leading about half a length on the outside is Lacona. Getting to a clear third now is Modern Legend. They were followed by members only, getting a good run fourth. On its outside is Courting Sara, and Dykeman gets one over off the fence now outside Marmar's Rose. The favourite, Silman, she's got two behind her. They're Roth and Bell on the inside, and last of all is Mirror Illusion. The patients start to quicken here. They've had some cheap sectionals up front, and Spirit Master doing it as he likes in front. In second place, and coming off the bridle is Lacona. Modern Legend pushed along. Members only over on the inside, and Dykeman's around Courting Sara. Silman pushed along in the middle on the inside of it is Marmar's Rose. Mirror Illusion searches to the outside and Rothenbell is last. They straighten up and they get right to the outside fence yet again in Lacona. Lacona moves up on the outside. Courting Sarah is coming with a run. Modern Legend is next. Silman ducks to the inside with Marmar's Rose. Members only. Mirror Illusion winding up. It's Courting Sarah right on the outside fence hitting the front. It's Courting Sarah. Silman back to the inside. Then Modern Legend. It's Courting Sarah in front. Though. And Courting Sarah, the wet track specialist, too good. Courting Sarah first. Silman second. Mirror Illusion third. They were followed by Modern Legend, a good run. Spirit Master had his chance in front. They were followed by Marmar's Rose, Roth and Bell. Indictment had a tough run. Lacona second last and something amiss with members only. Well, courting Sarah has got there for Scotty Cooper and Morgan Butler. And, yeah, good run last start and defied them today right out wide. That's where you've got to be. Uh, G. Silman back towards the uh, the inside half and she loomed through. She looked a real chance, but Courting Sarah just had the momentum up in the fast lane and has gone on with the job to win by oh, length drawing away. Silman has run second, a better run today. Look, uh, she stepped away okay. She uh, had to make ground, but she just had to make ground in the wrong part, didn't she? Mirror Illusion, a good effort, made a lot of ground late to run third, and the 10 Modern Legend has run fourth. Uh, not sure on members only, pulled up very short uh, or, or very quickly after the line members only, so maybe not all is well there, the roughy. But 9, 6, 11 and 10, well done to Morgan Butler, another one for the day. This time he's teamed up with Scotty Cooper, according Sarah, takes out the sixth at Cairns. Let's head straight to Gary and John for race six of Ballina.